All right, we're going to talk about we have an upcoming trip planned for this fall. We're going to be going to Mexico, Mayan Riviera side again. We just want to tell you guys early so we can plan and do some things that you guys might want to see, whether it be some restaurants or excursions. So please leave a comment down below at the end of the video, and uh, we'll try to see and do some things so you can see it before you go. So we're going to be going to the Grand Bahia Principe. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, but the Cyan Cayan. This resort's tucked a bit away, away from the beach, so it's going to be a deal breaker or not a deal breaker. We've been to Mexico many times, seen the beach. We love the beach, don't get us wrong, but we're more of a relaxing kind of people, especially this trip. It's going to be our 20-year anniversary, so we're going to treat ourselves to a nice penthouse suite, which gets us a private rooftop big jacuzzi tub and some sun chairs and a table, huge room, two-story, also a 24-hour room service with some pretty good options. Um, we're going to be doing some excursions again this time. We have been to this part of Mexico many times and we'll be using the Collectivo to travel for most of the part. We find taxi prices aren't really worth it. The Collectivo runs up and down the same highway. Every few minutes you'll see one. If you've never used a Collectivo before, they're, uh, they're like a white van, almost like what you'd see in schools for volleyball teams and soccer teams, football teams, kind of like that. They run up and down the highway every few minutes, so you'll see one. If you walk down the highway in the direction you want to go, if you look back, they'll be flashing their lights at you if they're empty and they have room for you. So if you just wave at them, they'll stop and pick you up. And this is the best part. It only costs a few dollars to go anywhere down the road. This is by far the cheapest way to travel that we found. Um, we're going to be going to the Mexico Coba Ruins again. We've been there before, but we're going to try and do it a different way this time. We went on a tour guide last time, which kind of we weren't too impressed with. We didn't get to actual town probably until 1.30, 2 o'clock. We got rushed through the ruins and then had a quick meal and then right back. So we're going to try and do it our own way. We're going to take the Collectivo into Tulum. And then you can take an ADO bus from the ADO station. Go to the town of Coba. And then once you're at Coba, the ruins are right there. So you can rent a bicycle and bicycle in the ruins or you can walk uh, depending on the weather I still recommend renting a bike they're cheap and you get to do it in your own leisure you don't really have to go with the group I do recommend if it's your first time going to get a guide or just do some research before you go that way the Mayan ruins will mean a little more to you and you'll kind of feel like you know what was going on back in the time and it just makes the trip worthwhile Guides are also there. They're very cheap and it's worth it as well. Uh, we're going to be going to Akmal. Akmal is a small beach town or it used to be a small beach town or a fishing village. We go there for two of our favorite restaurants and there's also Yaku Lagoon. Uh, the past 10 years, the town of Akmal has exploded in size. We used to be able to go and swim with the turtles on this beach and just casually walk down there. And they would show you where they lay their eggs and they have them all marked and protected. There's also like a hatchery or a turtle sanctuary there where they will hatch the babies. And then you get to go there at different times of the day and release them with your kids. It's just a great opportunity if you can do that still. I would totally recommend it, especially if you have younger kids or even if you don't have kids. It is an amazing thing to do. So the restaurants we like to go there. Um, one is called La Buna Vida, and the other one's called La Curva de Pescavar, Pescor. I'm probably butchering those names, I'm sure. But if you're in Akmal, the La Cua Pescavar is literally right in the middle of town. It's got the best seafood we've ever had. We literally go to Mexico and come back to this place every year just because of the seafood is amazing. We go to Yaku Lagoon, which is probably about a 30 minute walk through town around a whole bunch of um, kind of condos and houses it's just a long road that'll take you past a couple stores so if you need to stop and get some drinks or water or about halfway is La Buna Vida. La Buna Vida is a really neat restaurant that's on the beach you can use their beach if you want if you don't want to pay the fee to go into Akmal 
Akmal now charges a fee just to get on the beach and you have to watch a video about the turtles just so you're not harming them in any way. But at La Buna Vida, they have some swings at the bar. It's an amazing place. They have table t tops in treetops. So then the bottom, or sorry, in the top of the palm trees, they're actually tables. And you climb up a ladder, get to hang out there, have a few drinks, and your drinks get sent to you in a Corona pail and you pull it up with a rope. It is an amazing experience. If you guys are going with friends, highly, highly recommend it. The drinks are a little more pricey than most places, but still, it's not that bad. Um, then halfway, like I say, another halfway is Yauku Lagoon. It's kind of like a Shao Ha if you look at Shao Ha. Shao Ha is a huge outdoor water park. We went the first time years and years ago. It was a great experience. We've went again, and it's really commercialized now. It gets so busy that you're literally swimming on top of people. We're from Edmonton, Alberta. We have West Edmonton Mall's World Water Park. It totally reminds me of that. It's actually getting ridiculous. I almost don't want to recommend it, but they do have a lot of excursions, uh, excuse me, excursions there that I do recommend that you see at least once. But at Yaku Lagoon, they have hardly any crowds. Depending on the time of the day, it's going to be empty. And the prices are completely different. Um, Yalku Lagoon's around $14, I think, last time we went, versus $105 or $110 just to get into Shao Ha. And then a lot of the other experiences or excursions or whatever you want to call them are going to be extra on top of that. So it adds up pretty quickly, especially if you have a family of four. You're going to be spending close to $1,000 there, which is uh, quite a bit of money to spend on top of your vacation. You can do a lot of stuff in Mexico for $1,000. Uh, Yaku Lagoon, it's fresh water where it meets the salt water. So you'll get some kind of blurry images and blurry vision. It looks really neat. It's a really cool thing to experience as you swim where the water emulsifies together. They also have food here. So if you need to have a bite to eat, it's not included as far as I know, but it's cheap. Most of the food in Mexico is pretty cheap. Uh, and you're also going to see a whole bunch of fish. That's why I do recommend coming here. You're going to see a whole bunch of different kinds of fish that you probably won't see at your resorts. A lot of the coral is kind of going away from the resorts in Mexico. The wa water's getting warmer. And uh, you have to go to these places to see the fish you used to be able to see at most of these resorts. I remember we stayed at the Barcelo a couple years ago. And uh, we stayed there previous, probably five, seven years before that. And the amount of coral destruction and just the lack of coral now. It's actually really sad to see. So you might have to go to places like this unless your resort has a coral reef or something close by that you can maybe sail out to or if you are lucky enough to get to right by land. Um, we're going to be staying at this resort for two weeks here. So we're going to be going into um, Playa del Carmen again. Playa del Carmen we've been to many, many times. We try to stay away from Fifth Ave. There's a couple things that we like to get from Fifth Ave is vanilla. We always try to keep our vanilla reserves up because the vanilla down there is natural and it's amazing. Can't beat it. And Fifth Ave is too commercialized, Americanized. You're going to get some McDonald's restaurants and even the traditional Mexican places that serve food there are going to be more burgers and fries or just the kind of the Taco Bell style tacos and not truly authentic Mexican meals. One of the best things to do actually is to see there's a whole bunch of local people selling food to local people. They're usually served out of a, a cooler or honestly like a brand new garbage can. They'll be wrapped in a whole bunch of either banana leaves or some sort of a wrap and they'll keep them warm and you buy them as they are served and it is amazing. They usually only have them for about an hour, hour and a half until they're sold out at different street corners and at different places. But they are the only way to get true, authentic, local Mexican food in Playa del Carmen, close to Fifth Ave. If you want to venture a couple, I'm going to say probably 10th Ave going north is going to be close to where you're going to get more authentic meals. That's where a lot of the taxi drivers, the locals are starting to eat. I can't remember which avenue or street it is, but they have a Walmart. That avenue that runs east to west or north and south, I'm not sure along the it parallels the ocean 
that is going to have a lot of the locals favorite places honestly if you ask a taxi driver where he normally eats i would recommend those places there's going to be a whole bunch of places in Playa del Carmen. There's one, I think it's Alex. It's in a cave. It's really, really expensive. A lot of these restaurants are just going to be money grabs. So we try to stay away from those. Uh, where we're staying, we're going to have four resorts that we're going to be able to play and stay at all four. We're at the top luxury resort. So anything below us, we're going to be able to do. So we're going to be going to all the buffet restaurants and the resorts doing a whole bunch of things to show you guys what's available if you go and stay at each one of the resorts or if you're going to be staying in luxury you'll be able to go to all of those resorts all inclusively we recently stayed in cuba and we were said we were allowed to go to different resorts but that wasn't actually true so we were limited to the one resort which was actually kind of we found impeding on our trip so we had to go into town to get some better food and just expand on the selection Mexico, you're not really going to find this. We found every resort we've went to, high-priced, low-priced, this brand, that brand, they all had amazing food. Too much food, honestly. It's amazingly crazy how much food that they put out. So we're going to be trying a whole bunch of different things. So like I said, we're staying at the Bahia Principe Luxury Ock Mall, or sorry, the Luxury Cyan Cayen. We're also going to be able to go to the Bahia Principe Luxury Ock Mall, the Grand Coba, and the Grand Tulum. We're having unlimited a la carte with our res reservation. So we have, I believe it's over 20 or 25 restaurants we're going to be allowed to go to between all the resorts and also quite a few buffets and quite a few snack bars. So the selection of food is going to be mind blowing. We should come back with a few pounds heavier, obviously. Uh, this resort also offers free bicycles to use. So that'll be a kind of a nice way to get around the resort. We're going to be staying kind of further away from the ocean this time. So we're going to be using the bicycles or there's also trolleys or little things like trains that go in between all the resorts like most of the bigger resorts have. We stayed at the Grand Palladium, White Sands. They had the same thing. Barcelo has the same thing. A lot of the bigger resorts just to get from one resort to the other, especially at night when you want to go to a fancy a la carte and you're dressed up nicely. It's nice to not have to sweat before you get to the restaurant and just take the trolley we also get butler services on our beach and in the room an essential oil menu for the room for the shower and for your pillow and for the rooftop jacuzzi so this is going to be a step above where we stayed before and this will make for a relaxing trip so like i said if you guys want to see anything akmal tulum playa del carmen we're not going to be going all the way up to cancun because we're staying so far away. We're going to do a trip to Cancun probably next year and we'll catch all the stuff around there. But if there's anything you guys want to see, hit us up in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. And everybody, have a great day.